Few universities have the passion and curiosity to tackle the world's most pressing problems. We do. We are a thriving community for those with an overwhelming drive to teach, to learn, to research, and to serve. We are driven to discover. We have 10,000 trees on campus and we know every one of them. Every year we plant 15,000 flowers. It's important to come to a place where you take pride. Bet you didn't know that the university has a captain and a mate. Welcome to the research vessel Blue Heron. The Blue Heron is a research platform that takes researchers and their gear out onto the lake so they can make new discoveries on things like climate change and how it affects not only our lakes, but lakes and people around the world. On any given day, we have approximately 80,000 people on campus. Students, faculty, staff, visitors. We have light rail, buses, bicyclists, pedestrians. Public safety is our number one priority. One of the great things about working here is how much there is to experience. World-class art museums, Big Ten college sports. And my favorite, thousands of places to grab something to eat. There's even the U of M Farmer's Market right here on campus. I ride my bike to work. There's 9,000 bike racks on campus, and 9,000 bikers cross the Washington Avenue Bridge every day. Plus, I get wellness program rewards. So this is the Scholar's Walk. It celebrates the tremendous history, the research, and accomplishments of the people of this university. And along this walk is a wall, almost a living wall, of discoveries that have happened here. Right this way, folks. Kara Nash reversed the effects of memory loss in mice, and someday, Alzheimer's. Lanny Schmidt's hydrogen from ethanol research broke ground for a revolution in renewable energy. Dominic Argento's Pulitzer Prize-winning music opened hearts and minds. James Luby's Honeycrisp Apple is among the world's best and one of 27 U of M Apple creations. The U of M has a history of discovery, from the first open heart surgery, to the black box for airplanes, to one of the most effective drugs to combat HIV AIDS, to Nobel Peace Prize laureate Norman Borlaug's new seed varieties, which saved hundreds of millions from starvation. And we've been doing all this for more than 150 years. Today, that legacy has driven us to become a global center for addressing the grand challenges facing our state and nation, such as feeding the world sustainably, advancing health through tailored solutions, fostering just and equitable communities, enhancing individual and community capacity for changing world, and assuring clean water for all. At the University of Minnesota, we're proud of our history and our future. Together, we'll change the world.